You are watching Stim TV. Hello, everyone, and welcome. You are indeed watching Stim TV. We are in game number five of an epic series between our uh, Blue Terran here, Six Jacks DDE, spawning at the right position here on dual site, and uh, on the lush green meadows <laughs> of this map on the left side, we have none other than Destiny spawning as the Red Zerg. Uh, again, we do have Destiny up three to one. 3-1 to one for Destiny, so that means if he wins this game, he will take this series, he will avenge himself from uh, his loss in the mini tournament against Destiny, he will avenge Complexity Gaming's Cats, his very, very good friend that he lost to, uh, that uh, Cats lost to DDE in the last show match, so uh, he's, he's on the verge here of uh, making, uh, <laughs> planting his stake in the sand. I'm Simpatico for SimTV, and my illustrious handsome co-caster, Mr. Tumba, take it away. I was about to go get a drink and a sandwich and let you co the solo cast this one on that <laughs> intro, my man. But you, you know, know what? I, I feel like things kind of got wrong here. Like, the Zerg's on the green side, the lush side, the pretty side. I kind of feel like Terran should have been over there. And Zerg would feel, you know, much more at home on, like, the barren, kind of destroyed, ashy side. But Yep, I, uh, I would have to agree. Liz, uh, actually, who, who made this map again? I forget. It's a... Uh... Anyway, it doesn't really matter. Uh... I'll try and get the credit for that later because it is it is a cool map. Obviously used by MLG. I think also used yeah, of course used by GSL. Uh, so glad to see that uh, you know these custom maps are getting more love. Of course, a big big huge shout out to the map of the month, uh, guys. We're gonna have a podcast. And speaking of map of the month, we're gonna have a podcast after this best of seven. We're gonna have Igrok from Map of oh, the Month. Yes, we are, and we can also shout out HotKit.com, the coaching arm of Stim TV, and we can keep shouting them out because. Actually, Skew has gone ahead and confirmed he will be showing up. He's been yeah. up for like three days straight practicing, um, trying to get some of that Korean work ethic going. So he has recently actually uh, left Team Six Jacks. So we'll get a little introspective into why he left and uh, put a little pressure on him. Maybe hit him with some uh, some speedball questions, but we'll have to see. Uh, as we can see that uh, no softballs, uh, no softball questions in our podcast. I'll, I'm sure I'll be fired from, from Stim TV uh, right after the <laughs> cast. Is. Uh, what, what is it you call me? Opinionated, is it? Uh, you're a little bit outspoken. That's a good thing. Yeah. And uh, Destiny and DD, you know, having some 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 fun, uh, you know, friendly banter back and forth. Destiny asking uh, how, he, how DDE did at MLG, uh, and uh, as you probably saw, DDE said uh, the Muslim actually uh, kicked him out uh, thanks to that uh, extended series rule. Um, so we do have fast links here from uh, fast speed links. Excuse me. Uh, from Destiny. Uh, somewhat surprising on this map, uh, not too, too surprising. It is a fairly large map. Uh, going hatch first is not uh, that unpopular, uh, but it looks like he's going to want to pour on a little bit of aggression here. Wants to play it a little bit safe, uh, and he's going to be dropping that hatch now, uh, but not before he gets... Uh, the, the Queen is going to be just popping out now. He's going to have some speedlings making, um, so... Uh, well, while we have some downtime, I do have to address chat again. Moldwood, again though, Moldwood, wrong again, uh, saying that, you know, Terran uh, should spawn on the other side because it's uh, human beings, mankind, destroy everything and make the environment adapt to them and, and suck up the resources. Well, then he shouldn't. He should be back on the green side where he can go ahead and destroy the green <laughs> side. What can he? There's nothing to destroy over on that side. So uh, he's just going to go over and take over the other side. Should have spawned on the green side. I'm going to stick to my original point. Having said all that, though, uh, and, and here's the issue. I really feel like at this point, four minutes and 41 seconds in, we should be commenting on DDE and his aggression. However, there is none. So I, I, I worry a little bit. Uh, you know, he is building a, an early command center here, Sympatico. What is he up to? He's doing a, a fast Hellion expand. Uh, he knows that, uh, well, there's not going to be a whole lot else than Lings on the map for Destiny for this period of time. Uh, so he can feel confident in his Hellions to control the map completely. And uh, he's going to be able to expand very safely behind it. The only thing that would really punish this is like a very fast Roach aggression, uh, mm -hmm. which which I don't think you would expect out of Destiny on a map like this. It's pretty big. And look at this. Oh, oh no, they are going to catch it. The Hellions are going to know about those Zerglings. These Zerglings are going to be toast in just a second here. They're going to chance to poke up the ramp there. And do they see? No, they have no idea about that uh, uh, that command center being placed just out of range there, so nice placement. And uh, yeah, this is nice uh, out of DDE actually, just going to be clearing out his Elmago Watch Towers. Actually going to be pushing with two Marines here. This is somewhat strange. I don't know what he thinks he's going to get this, accomplished. Is this meant to kill him? Uh, I, I really don't think so. I mean, he does have four Hellions on the map. He he has to assume that there's expansion down by now. Yes, he already knows that there's expansion down, uh, but there aren't really, there's not a whole lot to kill over here except for spine crawlers. All right, obviously, and I, I, I hope we get to see a, a game where DDE showcases his wonderful control and, and micro talents. 
actually before we get to the mid game because I feel like that's what's best suited for him versus Destiny. He really has got to focus on getting the initiative early and, and making Destiny his chew toy, but it's not going so well for him. Uh, this game, hopefully, he has a little bit of better success, and it looks like it looks like uh, he's doing his best to pour in some aggression. Oh, and he might be getting. Oh, he tried to get us around on those Hellions. Uh, backed away before he lost all those lings, though. So great control out of Destiny. That was actually beautiful. And um, this is just great placement. I mean, he's defended against these Hellions great. I mean, he doesn't have enough drones to saturate that second base anyway. Uh, oh, wow, that is a little bit ambitious. He's going to send those drones down there. Uh, but he knows that with that spine crawler placement, it's not really worth pushing uh, for DDE anymore. Uh, so uh, nicely, nicely pushing him back there. DDE does have his uh, expansion down at his natural, uh, which is going to be harassed. A lot of links here punishing uh, DDE. Some of these Hellions might even go down. Nope, great control there. And look at this, the uh, the natural expansion not rallied to the minerals once again. I just I don't understand it. <laughs> yeah, but anyway, sort of making making life kind of harder on yourself if you ask me. But maybe hey, old habits from Brood War die hard. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, definitely. He's going to saturate that natural now. Uh, he has Marauders on. Uh, Marauders pretty cool, dude. Make Marauders and you win. Uh, <laughs> so I I'm wondering... This is actually kind of cool. Uh, he, you know, he, he had very early Hellions. He's, he's going he's gonna to tell himself, well, uh, Destiny, probably uh, going to start going Roaches to deal with my Hellions. And then I'll make Marauders. It's, uh, it's forcing your opponent to do something that you want them to do. It's actually very neat. Yeah, and we saw that actually out of Destiny on, I believe it might have been uh, Metal, where uh, he went ahead and forced tanks by going with those early roaches. Mm -hmm. and, and like I said, again, I have to mention, um, you have to give these players credit. It's not just simple, okay, let's make Brood War and Faster and win. It's not just let's make Marine Tank and win. There is a lot more thought. You actually have to go ahead and scout and respond. And uh, a lot of uh, deceptive play, uh, try to force your, your opponent into something he doesn't want to do. Uh, yeah, he is going to push out with a couple of Marauders, and he knows that there aren't uh, Roaches on uh, the way yet, so uh, he's going to poke out with those Marauders and then back them up with uh, Hellions uh, that will roast those Zerglings. I I'm surprised not to see anything out of uh, Destiny yet in terms of tech. All he has is Zerglings on the map right now, and uh, wow, look at this, actually. Uh, spine Crawlers are going to be going down. Oh, nice transfuse on that Spine Crawler. Wow, this is where I can't one. resist but pull a Zerus and go ahead and say, oh, uh, Spanishiwa style. <laughs> Even though it clearly wasn't. Um, and as we see now, uh, roasty, toasty Zerglings at this point. The toy car is doing work. Yeah, uh, those uh, those race cars going to get done, a little bit of work done here. Uh, going to lose a couple of them to these uh, all, these all the baby but, squirrels uh, are dying to the race cars. The oh, baby my spoils. <laughs> the humanity. <laughs> oh, the humanity. Uh, yeah, these Hellions, man, they're gonna have uh, kind of just total. This is this is exactly what DDE needs to do. Yeah, he needs to pour this constant aggression, just stream reinforcements into here, and not give Destiny room to breathe. Yeah, definitely, I completely agree with you. He's denying these spine crawlers from going up, which is really nice. I love the use of these Marauders. Uh, kind of unfortunately letting them get surrounded by Zerglings, though. Those Marauders are not a cheap unit. Hundred minerals, twenty-five gas, uh, not cheap at all. Uh, so to lose three of them like that, uh, a little bit unfortunate. Especially that's uh, really the it's the Marauders that are denying these uh, uh, spine crawlers from getting up. So he is stimming a couple more in, going to try and deny those before they get up because that's uh, if those go up, uh, he's going to have a hard time uh, making uh, do with these Hellions. Absolutely, and uh, as we can see, just doing his best to burn down as many of these spine crawlers as possible. And constantly streaming in units here, constantly streaming in reinforcements, making it very, very hard for Destiny to get a breath. Yeah, I mean, Destiny, he's going to say, okay, I, I need to pull drones. I, I need to deal with the situation. I can't risk all of the, all my economy on this. Uh, I, I don't know what he can do. I mean, he can't really send out a drone right now to try maybe sneak an expansion elsewhere. He's destined. Oh, you know what? You know why uh, DD's doing better? Uh, this game, he actually uh, he decided that uh, StarCraft 2 might be his game over Brood War, and he oh. did rally. He did rally his uh, oh his natural, and he does go ahead and burn down that that hatchery. It's the little things, man. It's, it's the, the little, little things. things. He has rallied his natural. The SEVs will know where to go to mine. Dude, Marauder Hellion, so good. Like that's all he's made in this game, and I'm and, and he hasn't even made blue. Here we fame. go. Here we go. Herp, herp, make Marauder Hellion win game. It's I, who's it's, gonna say it first. Well, but I mean, no, it is a it is a great unit compos uh, composition uh, for early game 
pressure against Destiny again. Against there you Destiny. go. That's what I was about to uh, kind of go into. Is uh, Destiny is known for not making mutas. So, but but that being said, uh, having said that, <laughs> uh, <laughs> you know he didn't let him get mutas. He didn't let him get up four gas or three gas. Get enough gas to get a significant amount of mutas up either. So uh, you know this pressure has denied mutas, and he, he's been able to afford making all these ground uh, units that don't shoot up. So I wonder if we're going to see Destiny uh, pull a DDE here and wait till one supply before he goes ahead and DDs out. I love that. All you know, the hearts of these players. I have to feel like uh, you know the Infester Pit hasn't finished yet, so Destiny is in a, in a bit of trouble here. Yeah, big time. And you know what though, Destiny is a, a, is, is a very cool dude. Uh, you know, I know for a fact that. He wants to give people a show. He wants people to enjoy. He wants Stim TV to do well. Um, you know, he wants he wants esports to do well. It's how he makes his living too. So he doesn't mind. You know, it's maybe staying a little bit longer, trying to put on a little bit of a show. Uh, and and I total credit for that. And 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 not only that. You know, there's money on the line here. He doesn't want uh, to uh, to give this match up just yet. He he feels he might still have a cho a chance. So uh, why not stay in it? Yeah, and right now, uh, DDE laying Siege without Siege tanks. All up in the chili, all up in the mix of Destiny at this point. Just wreaking havoc. Yeah, definitely. I mean, this is... I, I want to say... I want to say this is kind of an unwinnable position. Unwinnable position. But here we go. Four Infestors are coming out now. You know, I, I think Destiny's been in this situation before and probably won. Maybe not against the caliber of player that DDE is, uh, or maybe even better. God knows. I mean, with these investors out now, he's going to push this back, and uh, I think DDE knows it. Yeah, but a Zerg at 14 minutes in on one base, uh, it, it's, it's hard to make this one interesting, I'm not going to lie. Um, it would take a miracle. I'm not saying DDE could fall out of his chair yet and still win. Cause, fall out uh, of your chair situation. It's, this is not a fall-out-of-your-chair situation. Repeat, not a fall-out-of-your-chair situation. Uh, you still actually have to play the game at this point because Destiny is that good. Um, yeah. And and he came out of nowhere, man. I mean, like, people didn't really take him seriously for a long time. Oh, I had and... a horrible joke. He came out of his mom. <laughs> I had to say it. I'm sorry. I, you know what? The Destiny fans will appreciate that one, and I didn't mean to cut you off, but there is... Uh, Lings over at the natural trying their best to figure out yeah. uh, a way in and uh, Hellions coming back to uh, to go ahead and try to deny uh, and by deny I mean completely pass up and go into the main. Uh, yeah well there's nothing at that uh, at, you know Hellions just don't do anything against uh, buildings so I like the decision to just go to the main get as many drone kills as possible but there are a lot of uh, spine callers there to deny those and now he's actually going to kill uh, all of those Maynarded uh, uh, drones and uh, Destiny gonna you know know it and he's gonna give out the well played. So uh, we're off. wow, man, dude, we're going into a game number six now. <laughs> hey, Holy. chat, where's my pizza? I asked for that pizza. I told you this was gonna happen, didn't I? 